back to the Haney Biz Project with host Mark Haney. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the Haney Biz Project, brought to you courtesy of Sun System Technology. I'm Mark Haney, and today I am joined by the Chief Innovation Officer of the City of Sacramento, Mr. Lewis Stewart is in the house. How you doing, Lewis? Man, I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for having me. Thank you for making the trip out to the Allegiant Giving Center in Rockland, home of Mark Tank. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna grill you a little bit today, is that okay? Go right ahead, I'm, I'm, <laughs> game. Love it. I'm game. Okay, so you have been the Chief Innovation Officer for how long now, Lewis? Five and a half months, uh-huh. but, but not counting. <laughs> <laughs> how, tell us what your role is and how is it going so far? Look, the, the role essentially is how do we enhance the innovation ecosystem that exists in the region? It, it's, not a, it's not a creation. It's not ground up. We actually have a, a, a strong, vibrant entrepreneur community out in Sacramento and throughout the region. And now it's about bringing it together to collaborate and how the city and the government actually plays a role in, in that fostering. Well, you talk about enhancing. Um, uh, where do we stack up? If you were uh, to look around the, the globe or maybe just around the U.S., there are some role models that we might look to um, their ecosystems I'm talking about. How does Sacramento stack up and how much opportunity is ahead of us still? So the opportunity is huge, and, and it all is the basis of it now is, is about collaboration. So we have the, the pieces. We have we have a, a strong government that's willing that's wanting to do stuff. We have good innovators that are, that are here. We have a, a major league sports team with the Kings, yes. and we're looking at MLS. Now we have to build the, the culture. We have to get everybody thinking that Sacramento is that next re- great place, and that we're peers with the San Jose's, the Austins, the Bostons, and and those guys. Not that we have to look up to. Not that we have okay. to strive for. There's yeah. bits and pieces of things that they do that we can bring here easily and actually just, you know, kind of kind of move in, the, in that direction. Yeah, I guess that's basically it. Innovation uh, is not copying people. It's doing something different. So here in Sacramento, we have a different set of attributes. Um, and so we won't look like Austin. We no. won't look like Boston. Um, and, and thinking about that, what role does the city, the city of Sacramento play, because this is the greater Sacramento area that, uh, that the city of Sacramento has so much influence over, but what role do you guys play? Look, Sacramento is the capital of the sixth largest economy in the world. You got to just think about that for a second. Yeah. And so Sacramento needs to actually step into that strength and actually start being a convener. Start looking at how you actually make government do as opposed to just being a government town. Mm-hmm. So you look at the leaders that we have in place now from Mayor Steinberg to Congresswoman Matsui to Ami Berra to you name it. We actually have some players that, that want to do and change some things. So now we just got to give them the projects and the tools to do that. Now your background, let's talk about your background a little bit. You came from a state government yep. um, early in the private sector, but how does your role working uh, in the governor's office, uh, how is that different than working at the, at the city? Man, look, at the, at the state level, it was super cool because I got to see California. That, that really what it, what it was about. It was about innovation in the state. Uh, looking and, and looking globally, because we had innovators coming in from all over the world to talk to the governor's office and, mm-hmm. and see how they can do stuff in California. The challenge with that is, the state's a super big state, so it's hard to stick with something and kind of keep it moving. Yeah. Now at the city level, it's hyper focused. You are here. <laughs> there, there isn't. There isn't. Yeah, you, you don't have to go too far to uh, to make things happen. You walk right outside your office, and all around you is innovation. All around you is opportunity. Talk to us about some of the things you're working on that you're focused on sure. right now. Sure, I uh, focus is, a, is a, <laughs> you hit some too many things to focus on. <laughs> focus is an interesting <laughs> word right now. You know, ultimately, uh, like I was saying, man, I'm focused on everything from from arts and culture to tech innovation, and how do we make sure that the community doesn't get left behind in that conversation? And you give people a livable place where they can actually come and and raise their families and attract new talent, attract new businesses. Everything from boxing to autonomous cars. Well, you say uh, autonomous cars, those are obviously a hot topic, but uh, let's stick to sports for a second sure. here. Boxing. Are you talking about bringing boxing to Sacramento in some way? Actually, absolutely. So I'm, I'm actually talking to George Foreman Jr., so the, the, wow. the first son of George Foreman, 
talking about bringing a boxing culture back to Sacramento that was here back in the 80s and 90s and kind of disappeared for a while with the rise of UFC. Um, and we're working with the Kings. We're working with Visit Sacramento. We're working with all the players to actually turn Sacramento back into a hotbed of boxing, really from not just the event of boxing, but actually workforce development and, and sports training and, and everything that wraps around the sport that people don't actually think of when they think of boxing. Yeah, I keep envisioning uh, my buddy Uriah uh, up against or his team, his team alpha male, maybe up against some of the up and coming boxers, and who might uh, who might uh, enjoy that kind of fight? I could see it really. I could see it filling the Golden One Arena, uh, George Foreman's guys against Uriah's guys. What so, that, so you know, with the recent spectacle that happened, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, the Conor McGregor, yeah. I think you know. I think there there is a slight appetite for that. Yeah. Um, you know the the but most I don't know that you'll see a lot of boxers step up to the challenge <laughs> like Mayweather did because yeah. because it is such a different sport uh, no as Conor McGregor found out <laughs> well we're talking about innov- yeah no doubt we're talking about innovation today and yeah. you bring you bring up autonomous vehicles let's talk about what innovation autonomous vehicles is one of the things you're working on but what does innovation do to a community when people are are driving that new technology what can that do for us it, it actually it, it transformed the, the culture of a city. Uh, if, if everybody is, is kind of uh, spreading the same message and working in the same space, uh, looking at how autonomous cars can, can impact uh, society, looking at how a connected city uh, can help you provide better health care. Uh, and so when, what you start finding out with innovation is once you intentionally connect it, to, to one thing or the other, uh, how it actually propels uh, the economy, propels a, a society, propels you know what's next. If I'm an entrepreneur right now, I feel like I'm pro- my confidence is improving uh, in uh, in in terms of entrepreneurship right here in Sacramento. We sure. talked about some of the things, some of the wins that are beginning to take place. What's your pulse, right? You've been in the job five and a half months, and you're talking to everybody, getting the lay of the land, if you will. What's the pulse in terms of confidence right now? So I think you know we have to do a whole lot more uh, as as the city as government. We have to actually go ahead and build those relationships with these entrepreneurs. We have to tell them that we're invested in them just like they're investing in us. And so the pulse is everybody's excited to be here, but there's still a question mark whether Sacramento's that place, right? And so now it's you know in the first three months of, of being on the job, 250 meetings I had. Wow. So, so that's that's the <laughs> you know that's just the first three months. So we haven't even counted up the meetings for these past two, but. There's an interest. There's there's a hunger that that people want to do stuff in Sacramento and see it take off to the next level. And how does a guy like you juggle that time? You're obviously your family man. Um, you've got two kids. Uh, you you're 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 doing 250 meetings in three and a half months. Um, how do you divide up your time? So I got three kids. Okay, all oh, three so. kids. Oh my bad. Oh, just the third one slipped in there on I me. Huh? I can't forget him. Uh, no, look, man. Uh, ultimately, ultimately, the the family is super understanding uh, because this is this is really an extension of what I've been doing for the past seven years, and so the kids know that every once in a while. I disappear for a couple of days. <laughs> now you, um, you grew up in Sacramento, I did. am I right? So I did. you grew up in Sacramento to some extent. You were a uh, part of the basketball family. Give us an idea of uh, your upbringing and maybe what shaped your earlier influences and, and why you still consider Sacramento your hometown. Because you did a little bit of traveling. I, I, I have done just a little bit of traveling work, <laughs> just just a tad. So look, I uh, born in San Francisco. Uh, my dad was one of the early pioneers of, of the international basketball scene. Okay. Uh, so I actually grew up in France, uh, lived in, in Berck in the Pas de Calais, lived in Monte Carlo, lived in southern Italy. Wow. Uh, that's That was my upbringing. Basketball family. Absolutely. Did you play a lot of basketball? I, I played basketball from the time I was four until my knees gave out around 38. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you oh, you oh play, Did you play in the NBA? No, that was my younger brother. I know brother. your brother that, that, uh, had, yeah, a, yeah, had, a, had yeah. a nice career yeah, he and, did. and spent some time here on the Kings He did, he did. Walked onto the Kings in 96, 97. So that's that's doesn't happen. Too Michael often. Stewart, Yogi, right? Michael yeah, Yogi that Stewart. was back in what the 90s. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Exciting. So you grew up uh, playing with your brother, and uh, then uh, you you played till you were 38. It sounds like it was in the rec leagues or something. <laughs> was it in the pros? So so I actually played overseas. Uh, okay. I, I played in Peru and I played in Belgium for a quick second, wow. and then it came back and did the touring circuit. And uh, rec leagues was 38, and then my knees said, yeah, you're done. <laughs> and now it's all innovation all the time. Um, let's talk about Sacramento's vision. We, we know why uh, entrepreneurship and innovation 
uh, is so important and what it can do in terms of economic j- growth and, and jobs. But what's the vision for the future uh, from your point of view? Right. So, so for for me, it's it's trying to part of those two hundred meetings was understanding what Sacramento's vision for Sacramento was. Starting off with my boss, the mayor, listening to him talk about Sacramento being a living lab, talking about being a destination city, talking about that next great place. And so, for me, it was important to to start branding that, start creating that image when I met with people, when I met with companies, starting to tie the 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 connections between the university, government, and industry, so that we we form that triple. Helix. It's mm-hmm. here. We have UC Davis. We have Sac State. We have University yes. of the Pacific Community Colleges. Everybody's here. Now we just all need to sit down and work together and and figure out what Sacramento's real story is, so that we can communicate it to the outside world. And if we were going to break some news, is there any news that's breaking from the city right now, or something that's right around the corner? You talked about boxing. I did not know about the boxing. Right, what right. else can we? Is there anything else we can break uh, from on the innovation front that's happening right here in Sacramento? Breaking news. Breaking news. Uh, some some yeah. up light. Breaking news. Something Look. where we can get one of the one of the first guys on scene. So what you'll probably see in the next four or six months, uh, you'll probably see some of the city fleet rolling around with digital digital electronic license plates. Oh, wow. So e-ink based license plates. Um, So, you know, the the company wants to make Sacramento the the first city, one of the first cities to to roll those out. So we're talking to the city fleet guys to see if if we can help pilot that. Oh, wow. That's exciting. Uh, Um, Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, last question. Advice to to guys like me. I'm a small business guy, right? I've got a number of uh, businesses thinking about about uh, how to innovate my company. Any advice to us as we as we attack this next decade here in Sacramento? So look, the, the biggest advice I have, it was given to me and I didn't quite understand it a couple years ago, is show up. Yeah. So so when you have uh, when you have events, when you hear about stuff that's actually burgeoning, be there. Uh, whether whether you believe it or not, the fact that you're in the same room, same proximity with other innovators and entrepreneurs actually kind of starts building the energy. But if you if you're not there and you stay in your little silo, uh, it's not going to work too good. Lewis Stewart, with the words that we will never forget, you have to show up, my friends. If you are or- in order to get ahead, in order to win, it starts with showing up. Uh, thanks for coming on the show today, Lewis. I appreciate it. Love what you guys are doing uh, at the city. Um, so helpful in uh, helping enhance the uh, entrepreneurial ecosystem that we have right here in Sacramento. Coming up after the break, we will meet Mr. Dave Sanders, the legendary angel investor and the founder of of Digital Sacramento. Join the revolution at HaneyBiz.com, courtesy of Audi Rockland. This is the Haney Biz Project.